welcome back to my channel, y'all. Today, did I nail it? Have I watched enough mukbang, mukbang YouTube in my life? Today, we are eating Chick-fil-A, and I have some wonderful fucking news to share, as promised. But first, these are the little things that used to get to me that I'm not letting get to me, but just the irony of it. I asked for light ice. And I do not mind ice, okay? But it's just when you have less or none at all, you have more liquid. You know, this is what you're paying for. You get all ice and you have no drink. So I asked for light ice and my homeboy hooked it up. He wrote light ice. And then they gave me the exact opposite. Like, do y'all ever feel like they do this shit on purpose? Like, oh, this bitch want light ice? We gonna, we gonna do the opposite just to fuck your day up. Like, are you that twisted? That Like, do you have... It's just ice. Ice, ice, baby. Yeah. I always get their lemonade. I love sweet stuff. I always get their spicy chicken deluxe meal. Maybe I'll get a tray someday, but this is a rental. I got into, well, somebody hit me fries on Easter Sunday. That's a different topic for a different day. We were both okay. It was his fault things happen so now I got a rental fingers crossed with that because you know cars I got the spicy chicken deluxe sandwich with some zesty buffalo so I got a new job now before y'all ask me what I'm doing or where I'm going we're gonna keep that under wraps but just know that pretty much on the way up, it's a step up. Is it my dream job? No. It's crazy because for the five of you that viewed my last video, I had just come from that interview. I was feeling really sad. It's crazy. Every time I think I don't do well in interviews, I get up the job. And every time I think I do really well, I don't get the job. I had such a terrible headache that day. I was just not feeling it. I wasn't even going to go. And I was like, why don't I just go? It won't hurt. It's definitely not going to be easy breezy. But I'm really good at what I do now. I just don't get paid enough for the work that I do of five fucking people. Story of our lives. I tried to voice my concerns for over a year and a half. I wasn't able to get a raise. They always try to pull the, we're not making enough money. Bullshit. So, I handed in my notice on my last day will be one week from now. No, I did not give a full week two I did not give a full two weeks notice. Nor do I give a fuck. But, you know, the last time I talked to my boss, I said I'm considering leaving and he just said when. He didn't try to stop me or nothing. He made it abundantly clear. It's just how replaceable I am. This new place, when I told them how much I wanted, they said, we want you to be happy here. And that's when I knew that all was gonna be well. I cried getting off the phone. And which is even more bittersweet because I had to wait a day or two, one full day, like a day and a half, and then they called me yesterday. And the person's role that I'm filling, they're moving on to a higher role. So there's room for growth. They care about my happiness because a happy employee who gets paid more money is gonna bust their ass and do their best job. 
don't get me wrong. I bust my ass and do my best job here, but I, I did stop giving a fuck. They won't pay me more. And they won't hire more people for help. They did up, they were filling a spot for help for me for the nighttime. And now they want me to train her. And I said I'm willing to train her. But she is not going to learn everything that I know in a week. And they're so fucked. And I hope the girls, the students, realize how much shit is fucked when I leave. I know some of them. Most of them are graduating or have graduated just recently. But the ones who just started, maybe they'll actually see how much work I did. No, I'm not just a bitch behind a desk. I'm doing work behind that desk all day, ho. The entitlement. So not only did I have the bullshit at my job, but I had these bitches down my ass. And that's why my boss hired me. Because he didn't want these bitches bothering him. He is so unprofessional. He acts so annoyed when they ask him legitimate questions. Like, hey, how many hours do I have? It's a clock hour school, so you earn in a certain number of hours. And instead of, you know, going with the times and keeping up with technology and maybe creating an app where they can keep track of it themselves, everything's old school. Like, the point is, I don't have to deal with this anymore. Yes, it's going to be more bullshit, but I know how to handle bullshit, especially when I'm getting paid for what I'm worth and what I asked for. Like, inflation, everything, it's so hard to survive. But we're going to be okay. We're going to make it. We're on the up and up. It took me so long to find a job. And I have the credentials. I have a really nice resume. But, you know, for as many employers that are looking for people, they're not really hiring either. And just things didn't work out. And I know that I know that it's going to work out. Mm. On another note, for my Jimmy John's car bang, I had a story about dating my new friend. We actually hung out again. She's not bad. She's actually relatively cool, but I don't think she's the best influence. Well, I don't think I'm the best influence. I don't always want to drink, you know? I feel like she just started talking to me because she just wanted to, like, do drinking, buddy. I was like, baby, I'm getting too old for that shit. Look at me. I'm driving a freaking soccer mom vehicle. I'm on my way up. You know what? I'm keeping my plans and my goals and my dreams to myself from now on. For all anybody knows, I still work at my shitty dead end job. And, um, yeah, I don't need to be putting all my business out there, but the 
It's always, what are you going to do next? What are you going to do next? It's like, bro, I barely know how to function day to day. I'm just trying to get out of bed in the morning, you know? There was a period of time where I couldn't get out of bed in the morning for a while. So, to see my progression, I know that we're on the way up. Maybe there's a reason why I'm doing this so y'all can see. But, um, oh shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got to share some good news. This Chick-fil-A was bomb. Yes, I ate it all. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time.